what's the big gathering at the concierge about? <laughs> We've just arrived in there. I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose name Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Uh, yes. Your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. I... I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Panagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. Maya. We are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than ten minutes. Do you know how many credits ten minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pentaconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that... If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort. Not a favor from you all. <sighs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here.
Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Panicum. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Penicone. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're... Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you... The singer! Epsilon Superstar! If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her in person here... It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone, like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penacone. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties, and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Uh, please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Ally to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family, and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express, and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just one surprise after another. But since that Mr... Which day was he? Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? You and me both. I can't wait to get inside and just flop and roll on that comfy bed. <laughs> You'll have to wait for us to finish checking in first. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Alley. Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. 
This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream, save your favorite happy bits, and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. Majestic Metropolis! What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait! Our rooms are down this way. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good?
We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Lawfu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this Watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual, and your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penicone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance. Head back to your rooms. 
get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Whoa, what a Odd. Hmm? He's... How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And Of course. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the Reverie? <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The f my goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Miss Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? Warning me. <laughs> Oh, you're too funny. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Left or right? 
get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine, because... Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long. But you already know how to rope people into your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. <laughs> Why haven't you left? This is my room. <sighs> I just... Take it easy. This is indeed your room. I was just passing by. I'm trying to find my own room, too, and I heard a commotion here. So I came to take a look. Luckily, your door was open, or it could have gotten dangerous. That man looked like he was up to no good. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room, too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to- have we met somewhere before? Yes. It was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. A blink of a thought in my head. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Hmm. <sighs> Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions.
Welcome to Penacone, honored guest. Very soon, all your dreams will leave. Please step into the dream pool and let go of the sorrows and worries of life. Server's still not open. <sighs> <laughs> 